Standardites. My name is Genius. I am a genius. Meeting up with Legit. He's the most consistent artist of the fourth deck. Sitting here with that boy Legit. What's up, y'all? You're the first artist to record songs for every round of the deck. Yeah. That's I, pretty, yeah. That's impressive, man. I never really looked at it like that. I just, <laughs> you know, the opportunities there, I just, you know what I mean? Music is what I do, so I just show up. Actually, you could have won round 31. Like, yeah, if, yeah. if Jamila was, wouldn't have bought that, in, that porch, yeah, yeah, that's one of my favorite subs. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was good exposure, you know, just, just for it being my first sub. A lot of people seemed like they was rocking with it, so, you know, that was cool for me. It's been rounds where you didn't place top four, but we got this new thing with the sponsorships. Yeah, people yeah, putting yeah. money up for you. So it's like you getting to buy into the round without even putting up your own money, and I think that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was actually going to take a couple rounds off just to, you know, kind of focus on some other things. I mean, I'm always writing and creating music, so mm -hmm. the standard really doesn't... I know I know a lot of people say they take time off from the standard to go do this or do that, but, I mean, it really doesn't take that much time off of what I just already do, because, you know, I'm always writing to whatever, so, like, just one more beat to write to ain't really, like, a big deal. But it's yeah. cold out here, man. It's cold as shit, man. <laughs> I'm trying... <laughs> My arm's shaking and shit. It's the shit I do for the standard, man. Yeah. I'm out in the cold. <laughs> in the fucking cold, man. So, who are uh, some of your favorite artists in the standard besides yourself? <laughs> yeah, I don't want it to be like uh, legit, legit, legit. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't even like that. I'm just confident in what I do. I mean, it's the difference between confidence and arrogance. But mm -hmm. artists, I think, are dope. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm loyal, so you know, I got to shout out my homie Exile. I've known him the longest of you know all the artists that compete in the standard, just because I know him outside of that and also just outside of music like we met back in college like on some freshman year just kicking it like you know what i mean really, no. really getting we know each other's moms and families and, you mm -hmm. know it's, it's it's on that level but um it's it's actually a few man shout out to uh sid banks oh like, yeah he's pretty dope sid is dope um ot oh yeah uh, i actually like some of the stuff noah noah french puts together oh yeah um, king what? mike yeah uh, I like I like uh, my boy Dash and Grizzly. Yeah, yeah, he got a uh, really unique style. I, I, and I, I know for the type of music that he makes, it's like a challenge for him to kind of adapt to like the certain beats that he's been getting that we've been getting. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm waiting to hear like a kind of like a vibe that he just kind of like goes off on, like that maybe maybe a little bit more for his zone or more for his vibe. And I think he's gonna like shock everyone. Yeah, you know an uh, artist that gets kind of overlooked sometimes for me is Zai. Like Zai. Bruh. I was like, a dope ass, like, he's put out a couple where I'd be like, yeah, this shit going Yeah. Work. And it gets like fourth or fifth. Yeah. Like, I think uh, Jay Glaz has brought some uh, some good energy to it. Shout out to SK, man. <laughs> Competition. <laughs> I'm just laughing. Bruh, this shit shaking? Nah, like, oh. just for the people watching, if it sound like we dying out here, like, it's cold. It's like, cold as fuck. <laughs> we picked a bad day, man. Just some advice, like, for artists out there, like, especially, like, if you choose to, I guess, get in this competition or just anything you kind of approach, like the whole I don't feel the beat, I feel like it's kind of like an excuse because it is. Um, I mean, it, it was, I can't remember the rounds or name. I mean, it was some of, some of the beats, you know, this deck that, you know, they weren't my favorite. They might not have been beats I would have picked if they were on a list, but mm -hmm. just because it's your craft and like, you know, you present you to the world, you should still try to approach it with the mindset of like, you know, let me let me still make this the best song that I can make, like regardless of if you, you know, I can't get into the beat or I can't like, you can't really look at it like that because, you know what I mean, like, that's just like if you're competing, you know what I mean, you playing basketball or whatever, you're like, yeah, I ain't feeling that uniform, so, you know, <laughs> I don't like the way this, this arena looks. I don't like, like the way this ball field tonight. You can't really do that, you gotta <laughs> just go in there and really, you know, always give it, give it your all, no matter what it is, so, and I was gonna say, something you said earlier, like when you come, um, and I, I've even been critical about myself about like being real kind of intellectual sometimes with my rhymes, but like the feeling, like I'll even go back and listen, like dang, like, I could have like spit that bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really like a center of attention kind of dude, you know what I, I mean? get that so, vibe. My music is my expression, so you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's like, that's me getting my thoughts out. And it's always been a platform for where, you know, instead of being a quiet dude, like that was just, that was just my way to get my perspective out. My whole thing was like, showing emotion through the bars it's really you can look at it from more of a technical standpoint it's funny like because you you wouldn't think you would use technical and emotional in the same sentence <laughs> but 
when it comes to really delivering emotion, it's about just the inflection in your voice. Yeah, like yeah. when you're reading your lyrics, just a simple dynamic change yeah. on a bar can make somebody feel what you're saying a little more. Yeah, like the, I ain't gonna lie, the round 37, I was, I was hot, man. I was ready to, ready to go off. <laughs> <laughs> I put emotion in that one. Yeah. <laughs> but the funny thing was, like, I wasn't, I wasn't even like really mad. It was like I, when everything went down with like the disqualification and everything like that. I'm just passionate about my music, so yeah. I um, I wrote it. I actually wrote it like right when it happened. Like I didn't have a beat for the next round. Oh like, I wrote it, and I was like, it's it's ready. <laughs> so like, but you know, it's like that cooling off period. Uh -huh. like, you know, it's like two three weeks. You gotta wait. You know what I mean? Until you back on deck. So yeah. It's like when the opportunity came back around, like I wouldn't even. It even when it happened, I wasn't like really mad, mad for real. It was mm -hmm. just like you know, more like disappointed, like wow. Yeah, and I, I kind of threw gas on the fire on the page, like mm -hmm. everyone else did. But that was just to me, it was all in fun. Maybe some people took it seriously. But, yeah, but after it hit pads, like that was gone. I was laughing about it. But. <laughs> well, man, I think we covered everything we got to cover, man. Diamond round coming up. Oh, yeah. It's called zero. I, I just wonder what it was called. I just seen. Yeah, I mean, you've been spending, you've been spending all week working on working this. on this. <laughs> like, it's an abstract art. <laughs> <laughs> I was like pondering, like, how am I gonna uh, make this look visually? <laughs> and I was like, let me just draw a zero, because I was gonna put the word zero, yeah, and do like some like fancy shit in the background, no, make it look up. Exactly. I was like, man, this would be cool to just draw a circle, make it look like a zero, like it's written on a wall. Yeah, yeah. And let the people interpret how they want to interpret it. <laughs> they don't even know, like, you could read it like zero or read it like O or read it like circle, like, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, the round is called zero. Where my mind goes when I see the number zero, I think, like, a circle, completeness, fullness, or reaching the end point of something. Yeah. We're at the end point of the zero, deck. Zero is a powerful number. Mm. Talk about that. You can... So. Add zero to any number, and that number ain't going nowhere. Woo! That's deep. You can take the biggest number <laughs> in the world and multiply it by zero. And zero will shut your shit down. <laughs> nah, you got to be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's the best interpretation of the, of the zero name, bro.